Hey, you. Yeah, yeah, you. Um, before your parents leave the room, ask them if you can submit an idea to Dad's bedtime stories. There's a link below in the description. You can, uh, you can submit it there. Even if it's, like, just your name because you want a story about yourself. Put it in the link. And welcome back to Dad's Bedtime Stories. Martin here. Um, and tonight we're going to move on to episode number three of Bedtime Storytime. And since none of you have written in with an idea for Bedtime Storytime, this one will be about Oliver and a friend of his again. As usual, the same rules apply. Just get as comfy as you can and imagine yourself being in the story. This one is called Mixed realities. Oliver and Eden were best friends, always seeking adventure in their small town. Oliver had a head full of wild, dirty blonde hair that matched his adventurous spirit, while Eden's brown hair cascaded like a waterfall, reflecting her curiosity and warmth. One sunny day as they ventured into the woods near their neighborhood, they noticed something very strange. A rustling sound, different from the usual songs of the birds, caught their attention. Oliver and Eden exchanged excited glances. Their curiosity peaked. Following the sound, they stumbled upon a clearing in the woods. Their eyes widened in disbelief as they saw a creature they had only read about in books. A dinosaur. It stood tall, its scaly skin shimmering in the dappled sunlight. The ground trembled beneath its weight as it let out a mighty roar. Oliver and Eden stood frozen in awe, their mouths agape. They couldn't believe their eyes. Dinosaurs weren't supposed to exist in this world. They cautiously approached the majestic creature, their hearts pounding with excitement and a touch of trepidation. As they got closer, Oliver reached out a trembling hand, his fingers brushing against the dinosaur's rough skin. Is this real, Eden? He whispered in disbelief. Eden nodded, her voice filled with wonder. I think our world is changing, Oliver, and it's becoming something magical. With newfound courage, they continued exploring the woods. Their senses heightened and their eyes searching for more signs of this merging reality. Soon enough, their jaws dropped once again as they stumbled upon a clearing bathed in soft light. There, standing amidst the shimmering mist, was a magnificent unicorn. Its coat glimmered like moonlight and a delicate horn adorned its forehead. Oliver and Eden could hardly believe their luck. Unicorns were creatures of myth and legend, yet here one stood before them, radiating pure enchantment. The unicorn regarded them with kind eyes, and its presence filled the air with an aura of magic. Oliver reached out, hesitantly running his fingers through the unicorn's silky mane, while well, Eden marveled at its ethereal beauty. I can't believe we're witnessing this, Oliver said, his voice tinged with awe. Eden smiled, her eyes shining with wonder. Our world is becoming a place where dreams and reality intertwine, Oliver. We're part of something very strange. With awe still sparkling in their eyes, Oliver and Eden found themselves caught between worlds, where imagination and reality intertwined. The unicorn stood tall, its gentle eyes inviting them to embark on an extraordinary journey. Eagerly, they climbed onto its back, feeling the warmth of its magical presence. The unicorn's powerful muscles flexed beneath them as it took off at a graceful gallop. Oliver and Eden held on tightly, their laughter filling the air as the wind tussled their hair. The world around them transformed into a vibrant tapestry of enchantment. 
As they rode through the forest, their eyes widened at the sight of the mythical creatures that had sprung to life. Majestic dragons soared overhead, their wings stretching wide against the boundless sky. Sprightly pixies danced among the flowers, leaving trails of shimmering dust in their wake. Graceful centaurs trotted by, their hooves echoing through the forest floor. Oliver and Eden couldn't contain their excitement, pointing and gasping at each new marvel they encountered. They rode alongside the unicorn, their laughter mingling with the calls of magical creatures. It was a wondrous spectacle, a world where imagination painted reality with vibrant colors. As they continued their enchanted ride, the forest began to change, becoming denser and more mysterious. They followed the unicorn's lead, the sound of their laughter intermingling with the symphony of the forest. And then, a soft glow caught their attention. A clearing emerged before them, bathed in a gentle, iridescent light. In the center stood a towering tree, its branches adorned with delicate blossoms and glistening leaves. But it was not the tree itself that captivated Oliver and Eden. It was what fluttered among its branches. Fairies, with ethereal wings and shimmering gowns fitted about in a mesmerizing dance. Their laughter tinkled the wind chimes, and their presence exuded an otherworldly aura. Oliver and Eden watched in awe as the fairies gracefully weaved through the air, their magic infusing the surroundings with a tangible enchantment. The unicorn came to a gentle stop, sensing the reverence in Oliver and Eden's gaze. The fairies, their eyes twinkling with mischief, beckoned the children closer. Oliver and Eden approached, their hearts beating with a mixture of anticipation and wonder. One fairy with golden wings landed softly on Oliver's shoulder, while another with emerald wings hovered near Eden's ear. They whispered sweet secrets, filling the air with soft giggles. Oliver and Eden couldn't help but smile, feeling a connection to these magical beings. As they marveled at the magical dance of the fairies, a soft, melodious voice filled the air. The grand fairy emerged from the midst of the fairy flock, radiating wisdom and grace. Her wings shimmered with hues of gold, and her presence commanded attention. Oliver, Eden, I sense that you are not from this reality, the Grand Fairy said, her voice carrying a gentle authority. Something has shifted, merging worlds that were never meant to intertwine. A delicate balance has been disrupted. Oliver and Eden exchanged concerned glances. They knew they had to help restore the harmony of the beloved world. The Grand Fairy's words filled them with determination and a sense of responsibility. But how do we know what's caused this merging? Oliver asked, his voice tinged with curiosity and concern. The Grand Fairy nodded, acknowledging his question. The artifact atop the stone pedestal, she replied, her voice filled with sorrow. It possesses immense power, capable of shaping the very fabric of reality. It was never meant to be disturbed or tampered with, but somehow it's been awakened. Eden's eyes widened as she connected the dots. So the artifact has caused the merging of the worlds? The Grand Fairy's gaze softened. Indeed, dear Eden, it holds the key to both the disruption and the restoration of balance. To mend the realms, you must reclaim the artifact and return it to its rightful place. Oliver and Eden nodded, understanding the gravity of their mission they looked at the royal companions, the dinosaur, the unicorn, and the fairies. Knowing that together they possessed the courage and strength to confront this challenge. 
With renewed determination, they climbed onto the dinosaur's back, their loyal companions joining them. The unicorn's shimmering presence and the fairy's ethereal light guided their way as they embarked on this crucial quest. The dinosaur led them through the forest, its powerful strides shaking the ground beneath them. The once familiar paths now revealed new twists and turns, a reflection of the shifting reality. Oliver and Eden clung to the dinosaur's back, their eyes scanning the surrounding for any signs of the artifact. As they journeyed deeper into the heart of the forest, the air grew heavy with a palpable energy. A clearing appeared before them, bathed in an eerie glow. In the center stood a towering stone pedestal, emanating a pulsing, otherworldly light. Oliver and Eden dismounted the dinosaur, their gazes fixed on the mysterious pedestal. Their hearts pounded with anticipation and the weight of their mission. They knew that reclaiming the artifact and returning it to its rightful place was the only way to restore balance to both worlds. The artifact atop the pedestal, Eden whispered, her voice filled with certainty. That's what's causing the merging. We have to retrieve it. Oliver nodded his eyes locked on the pulsating crystal. With a mixture of determination and caution, they approached the pedestal. As they stood before the pulsating artifact, they felt the weight of their mission pressing upon them. The merging realities had brought chaos and imbalance, but with their loyal companions by their side, they knew they could overcome the challenges ahead. Guided by the Grand Fairy's wisdom, Oliver and Eden carefully reached out, their hands touching the radiant crystal. In that moment, a surge of energy coursed through them, connecting them to the artifact's power. The very essence of creation seemed to flow through their fingertips. With synchronized determination, Oliver and Eden focused their thoughts on restoring balance. They envisioned a world where each reality remained distinct, yet harmoniously coexisted. As their intentions merged with the artifact's energy, a brilliant light enveloped the clearing. Within the ethereal glow, the merging realities began to separate like delicate veils unfurling. The chaotic collision of the worlds gradually transformed into a tapestry where realms existed side by side, embracing their unique qualities. As the light subsided, Oliver and Eden witnessed the remarkable transformation. The merging realities had been untangled, and a newfound harmony permeated the air. The once tumultuous forest now appeared serene, each creature and realm occupying its rightful place. The Grand Fairy approached Oliver and Eden, her eyes brimming with pride. You have brought power and imbalance, restoring harmony to our worlds, she said, her voice filled with warmth. Your courage and unwavering spirit has triumphed over adversity. Oliver and Eden exchanged a smile, hearts overflowing with a sense of accomplishment. They knew that their journey had been about more than just restoring balance. It was about embracing the extraordinary, connecting with newfound friends, and discovering the power within themselves. With their mission fulfilled, Oliver and Eden bid farewell to the Grand Fairy, the Dinosaur, the Unicorn, and the rest of the fairies. They returned to the familiar world forever changed by the extraordinary adventure they'd shared. In the days that followed, Oliver and Eden found solace in knowing that their realms remained connected, though separate. They continued to cherish their friendship and the memories of the extraordinary journey, and so life went on. Enriched by the lessons learned and the bonds forged, Oliver and Eden knew that the merging realities had given them a precious gift, the understanding that within each of us lies the power to shape our world 
and to make a difference. The end. Good night, everyone.